everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some things that have sold online. Some of them sold on eBay, but I also sell on other platforms like Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and sometimes I make sales from viewers that watch the channel when I do unboxings of jewelry and haul videos and stuff. So today I'm going to be sharing the different things that have sold. I'll talk about where I picked them up and why, how much I bought them for, and what they sold for, what kind of profits I made. So if you are new here, I'd like to welcome you. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And if you don't already, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures. And I am live, so I see some friends jumping into the chat. Hello, hello in the chat. Let me know, because I've been having some streaming issues. Hi, Linda. Hi, JPGR mom. Hello, Lauren and Trina. Nice to see you all. Let me know how the stream is looking, because the last few videos I've done, the Wi-Fi has been a bit wonky, and so the stream has been really grainy. It, it comes and goes. So please let me know, because I reset everything, and hopefully it's... Um, Hopefully it's all better. So I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on that in the chat to see how that's going. Hello in Surfside. Hello, hello. All right. So let me jump into this. I can't complain. I, I, I haven't been listing a ton. Let me come back. Um, I've been trying to list like three things a day. Sometimes I get more. Sometimes I don't make it. Um, but for the most part, okay, so it looks like it's a little out of focus. Anybody else? Does it look blurry to y'all? If it is, I'm just going to plow through this time, but then I'll probably have to start just recording in advance because let's see if I can, I don't know if I can go see real fast. Sorry if you're waiting. I just want to make sure because let me see if I can do this. It says it's live. It's going to pop open one second. Hang on. If I can, I'm trying to see if I can see the video too. Anybody else? Well, it is, it is blurry. Darn it. Oh, so frustrating. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go through what I've got. And then I think from here on, I'm just going to have to pre-record and just upload because it's kind of frustrating that it keeps happening. So bear with me today. Uh, I really want to see. Hang on, so I can decide if it's worth plowing through. Hang on, I'm going to pop it open real fast. Or if I should just go ahead and stop here and... Oh, you're right, it is a little blurry. Hmm. And I don't think the kids are streaming anything either. So it's better now. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm going to do this today and then I'm probably just going to pre-record it, which is a bummer because I love coming live until I can get my, you know, Wi-Fi figured out. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. <sighs> okay, so let's take a peek at what has sold for me lately. I will say that I have um, had two sales from viewers. Uh, one of them was that clear purse. It was like a box purse, um, and that sold for 20 bucks. And then I sold a medium flat rate box of jewelry. Uh, and so that's about 15 bucks to ship. So it was $50 that, that, um, I charged for that one that included the shipping for the medium flat rates of mixed, mixed wear repair jewelry lot. So if you're ever interested, let me know, because I've got, I've got, uh, some jewelry that I can do that with. Don't ask for special, like I only want this or that is what I got, what I got, what I got. Okay. So here we go. Starting with, looks like I'm starting with my Etsy sales. I sold this. It's a puppet, right? It's a red-eyed tree frog puppet. And I picked it up for a dollar and it sold for $25. So that's pretty cool. Next up is this War of the Worlds comic book. And I've talked many, many times about my friend who gave me all those comic books. And they have just been the gift that keeps on giving. And so I paid nothing for this. And it sold for $12, which is nice. And then I sold this. This was a silverware, like a fork ring. And I picked this up for a dollar. I think it was in a jewelry lot that I got. And it sold for, I lost it here. It sold for 25 bucks. Cool. I feel like I'm plowing through really quickly. <laughs> if you have any questions as I go along, let me know in the chat. And I can 
jump into that. And oh, good, it looks a little better now. Let me know if it if it still looks good or bad. I'm gonna have to call my internet. I goodness knows I pay enough for it. So, right. All right. Next up, this. Um, do you remember a while back when I got that? I got this lot of jewelry from um, a lady who lived here in the Austin area and she sold me, it was like tubs and tubs of jewelry. I think it was her mother-in-law's and it was 500 bucks for all of it. And it was just way more than 500 pieces. And there was a lot of really nice sterling, some native American stuff, some turquoise, really, really nice stuff in there. And then a lot of costume stuff as well. So it has really been um, bringing in some pretty good income for me over, over the year years. Um, so about a dollar for this item because it was 500 bucks for the lot, way more than 500 pieces there. Um, and it sold for $48. Hello. Hello. Oh, I missed some people coming in. Hi, Fox cat. How's it going? Hello. Hello, Christine. Hello. Hello, Nola. Um, you own the same bracelet. Oh, sweet, sweet. Good morning. Okay. I'm so glad you guys could come in. Uh, say hello in the chat to each other too, because there's fantastic people there. All right. Next up, let me make me smaller so you can see the stuff. The next item that sold, you know how I talk about ginger jars, especially this style of ginger jar with that, you know, they have the ones that have more like a finial on the lid. Um, but when I see this style, I mean, I'm guessing the other style sells as well, but this one I picked up not that long ago. Uh, and I had to actually get a little help because I was like, I know this type of jar has a name, the, the design on it, right? The And it's Celadon. And if I'm saying that wrong, so be it. Um, but I, I, I had to ask because I was like, I know there's a name for it, but I can't remember what it is. Um, so I paid $5 for this ginger jar and it sold for, drum roll please, it sold for $75. So if you see cool ginger jars out there, there you go, 75 bucks. Next up, not that all of them are going to sell for 75 bucks, but I'm just saying that's one of the reasons I love picking them up. I had to put a little caveat on that. Uh, next up is another comic book that came from that lot. Let's see. Oh, hi, everybody coming in. Hello, hello. Uh, you love the live. How's the stream looking now? Hopefully it's a little bit better. Oh, thank you for sharing me on your community tab. I appreciate that. Um, it's not bad. Oh, it's really not bad. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. So Spider-Man comic book, again, I paid nothing for this because it was in the lot that my friend gave me and this sold for $12. I will take $12 here, there, and everywhere. And this one I almost put back. Uh, I got this at a garage sale in a free pile and it's uh, it was a tin, Churchill's Nature's Friends. It was like a candy box, like made in England. And I just thought it was so fun. And again, it was like, do I really want to bring this home? Whatever. So I did. And it did end up selling. Um, and so, yeah, I paid zero for it because it was in the free pile at the garage sale. And it sold, it sold for $20, y'all. So don't overlook those free piles and the tins, right? Old candy and cookie tins. So this, yeah, it sold for 20 bucks. Isn't that awesome? All right. Then, oh, good. It's live. It looks good, 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 good. Okay. I feel better about that. Why did I close it out too? I was like, I was going to pop back and forth and check. To see, I'm going to do it again. Sorry. I just want to make sure that, and I, maybe I need to make sure my kids are not, it's a little blurry. Okay. I'm going to talk to my internet provider. Okay. Then the next item is this uh, big light bracelet and right. The free file is awesome. Um, I have a whole video on identifying Bakelite and testing it. I have a couple because I know I talked to a few different people um, when I was going through, I was doing series for a while where I was talking about different styles of jewelry and different, you know, I I was going through a wild hair of educational style videos for a while there and Bakelite was one of the ones I hit. And so I have a few videos on Bakelite. Uh, so if you're wanting to find out if a bracelet you might have or a piece of jewelry is Bakelite. There are different ways to do that. And I've got videos showing you how. So I paid nothing for this because this was given to me and it sold for $75. The next item, this one was tricky for me to price. So this is a ring that I got again in a lot. 
And as you can see, I have it labeled square, ruby ring, art deco, sterling silver, crystal set band ring. So it's this square cut. And here's the band, right? Let me make it bigger so you can see. And it's missing some stones. And initially, you know, if you saw a ring like this, you might think, oh, you know, what would you think? I I'm asking. So you can see there, 925. It's missing stones. It looks kind of rustic, right? But... I did test it and the stone tested out as Ruby and here in my, in the video, I said, I, you know, here's a video of the gem tester. So you can see that I, I tested it. And so I did a video, I'm going to show that to you as well, where I tested a few different rings and then I just linked the, that video in all of the different, um, listings for the different rings on this one, instead of doing a separate video for each ring, um, here you can see I'm testing a different one. So I did this so that the person could see me testing, testing the ring and seeing where it landed, you know, on the Presidium gem tester. And I did it for all these different ones. So I did that because it would, I'm going to get back to the picture of the ring, um, give the buyer a little more comfort in like, is it really what she says it is? And then I also um, put in the description, you know, the Ruby, it may be lab created because I, there's no way for me to verify if it's natural or, you know, because a simulated Ruby will, or lab created, will will test the same. There's no way with that to tell. Anyway, so just as a tip, so I use the Presidium, Presidium Gem Tester, and I think I have a link there's a link in the description box for like items I use and it takes you to like an Amazon page and it's on there because I used to have a million billion links down there, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I was in teacher mode for a while. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mark of Fine Cindy. All right. So anyway, um, this ring, I, I, again, I got it in a lot. I think it was in a blue box, either a blue box or a thread up one or the other. Uh, so I paid about a dollar for it and it sold for $75. I, I struggled pricing it. I couldn't figure out if I should go higher or lower. I mean, it was silver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up was this item. Uh, when I, when I got it, I was like, I don't know who this lion food dog thing is, but I know he's something he's from something. And I had to do a little digging and asking because I knew he wasn't just like a regular lion. It's just like a plastic, like toy figurine sort of deal. Right. But I could tell he was something different and cool looking. Right. So as you can see the price there, um, I picked him up for $2 and it sold for 40 bucks. It was like, you know, this big, it wasn't like a big thing. Cool though. Right. $40. Margaret, when your picture is small, you are clear. When you enlarge the picture, it gets fuzzy. Oh, interesting. I wonder why that is. So if I'm small, I'm clear. <laughs> the picture's clear. Interesting. I don't know why that is. Okay. But thank you for that. Thank you for that. Okay. Next up, these are sales on Mercari. And if, I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning. Here I go. I'm going to get, big, get bigger. So maybe it's going to get fuzzier. Um, I list all of my items across multiple platforms and I use list perfectly. I have a link for that in the description box below. And basically it's a site that lets me create my listing in one place. And then I can send that listing. Like it saves me so much time instead of having to list it boom, 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 boom across all these different platforms. I make one listing and then I hit the button for eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook marketplace. And there's other sites too, but I don't do all of them. And then it just like shoots them across to all the different sites and they um, get listed there. So if you're interested, I have a link down below. Okay, now maybe make it make it better, bigger. Um, so yeah, I got this dinosaur. I got three of them at, I believe it was a Goodwill. Um, and I paid, where'd it go? I paid $2. No, that was that one, the other one. Where'd it go? <gasps> Oh, here we go. I paid a buck and a half for, for the dinosaur and it sold for $19. And I remember when I was listing the, or when I was doing the haul video with these dinosaurs, um, tell me if it gets fuzzy again, but I'm going to get on my soapbox for just a second. Here's my soapbox. Uh, when I picked these dinosaurs up and I was like, okay, I think I can sell them for about 20 bucks a piece. There was somebody in the chat that, or in the comments said something like, well, 
they sold these at Hobby Lobby and they were only blah, 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 you know, when you bought them new. And, and I was like, that's fantastic. You know, do they still sell them? No? Okay, great. Somebody's going to want them. It doesn't matter what they originally sold for. It doesn't matter if somebody can go there and buy it still. It, if somebody's looking for it online and they want to buy it from you, they're going to pay the price that you're asking for or send you an offer, right? Let's see. When you list perfectly, can you list for different? Yeah, you can. So whenever you create your listing, you can put the price you want there. And it will populate it across the different platforms, but you go in, like it pops it up in, in different tabs, like each platform, and you can go in and make any little adjustments to the listing before you hit make it go live. Um, let's see. So, for example, like I write these long titles because eBay and Etsy has, have much more space in the titles. So whenever I go into, say, Poshmark or Mercari, I have to kind of pare it down and cut some of those words out. So yeah, I do, um, you can go in and tweak things for different platforms when you get there. Yeah. Hello, hello. Thank you. I bet Miss Kit Lexi, how's it going? Um, okay, next, hopefully it wasn't too fuzzy when I did that, but say la vie. Then this little girl sold, this is one of the little dolls that was um, one of my grandmothers. And I had just kept this box full of some of her bisque little cupid dolls. I don't know if you remember a while back on uh, Instagram, I had fun like making these little videos and trying to make them creepy and make up little stories for them. So if you want to go back on my Instagram, <laughs> scroll back and see them. So each each one of the little dolls, I I gave a name and like a little backstory too, just for funsies because I have nothing better to do. What? So I paid nothing for these because they were some that might belong to my grandmother and it sold for $20. Isn't she pretty though? Then... We're going to jump back over here. These are my eBay sales. This is another ring that was in that video. Um, and this ring, again, I paid about a dollar for it and it sold. I took an offer. So I saw it sold for $34, not $39. All right, there. And then this one. Do y'all remember that garage sale I went to with that guy that was like talking about the knives? And it was like such a weird garage sale. And I felt very strange being there by myself. Um, but that being said, the, um, I bought this for $5. I just thought it was so interesting and it, it was wood, but it was really, really heavy for its size. And now I'm looking for it over here on my, here we go. So I paid $5 for this and it sold for $45 and it was not big. It was just like, like that big, it was little, little thing. Um, so yeah. So anyway, with all that being said, including my sales to viewers over the last week or so, um, I spent about $18 for all of these items and made $580 profit for those. Well, gross profit. Anyway, so those were some sales that have been coming through. There were some pretty nice sales, had, you know, some good $75 sales, some good, you know, $40 plus sales, which are really nice, but I never turn my nose up at 12, $10 sales. Um, because like I say, the big sales are like the bricks for the house and those smaller sales, they are the mortar that fills in. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's my sales and I'm sticking to it. All right. Y'all. I hope you have a really good, this is a short one. Holy smokes. Um, I hope you have a really good rest of your day. I am planning on recording a video to pop up tomorrow because I'm really frustrated with this live being so fuzzy. Um, and I'll be talking to my, my internet provider. So are you finding, oh, Jaron's got a question. Are you finding more, e finding even sales across the platforms? Oh, no, no. And, and this usually happens during Q4 for me is that Etsy sales like ratchet up. So this time I had you know, like eight sales on Etsy and only two or three on eBay and like one over on Poshmark, two over on, you know, Mercari. So right now Etsy really is. And I find that almost every year that happens is that Etsy's sales just jump up. I think as people are looking for unique gifts and so they think, oh, I should go to Etsy, right? So there's that. I, I really do recommend listing across multiple platforms if you're able. All right, you guys, I hope you have a really great rest of your week and I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye everybody.